What's up y'all, Ironhead Sally here to talk about your motorcycle tool bag. If you're like me and the newest motorcycle that you ride is a 1985, then you definitely always need to be prepared when you're on the road. I personally prefer the up and down style bags, super heavy duty leather. Got this one at the last swap meet we were just at. Um, but a couple of my bikes also just have the round style bag. Either way, as long as you have enough space to hold your tools, that's what's really important. Um, so let's go in and see what I got. So I packed up this tool bag for my iron head. As you ride your bike, you'd kind of know what more shakes loose and um, what type of issues you have. So you'll want to make sure to always be prepared. My tools are in a leather bag, but I always put it in a plastic bag. It makes it more watertight and uh, stops the rust on my wrenches. together a little bit, show you what all I got. Alright. Handy dandy Sturgis sock protector. Okay, so this is mostly what I carry. So obviously Phillips and Flathead screwdriver. Never know when you're gonna need it. A set of Allen's. I really like these adjustable. Pliers that also have electrical dikes, super handy. If you got a cut wire or zip ties, always need zip ties. Think of that, colorful zip ties. Have a light tester, super basic light tester. Um, they're super cheap, kind of chintzy, but it's enough to get it done on the side of the road. Various wrenches, all from size 3 8 to 5 8 um, Always have two 7 16 and two halves, just in case you gotta get on both sides of a nut. Flashlight, just in case it's dark. Eyeliner, you never know. Uh, spark plug gapper, super, super handy, always have one. I normally pick one up every time we stop at AutoZone. Spare park, spare spark plugs super important i like to give myself a little cheater and on the inside just write myself a reminder of the gap size that i need handy little multi-tool locking pliers and an adjustable wrench so this is what i keep on the bike just on an everyday basis no matter what just in case Something happens when I'm on the road. If I were to go on a longer road trip, I also always have an extra little bag rolled up in another rag, super, super dirty rag with chain loop. Super important, so many people forget to loop their chain every 500 miles, make your chain last. Um, definitely recommend getting a O-ring style chain, if you don't have one, they just hold loop better. And a better set of Allens. I like these better because sometimes you can't get into these short little spaces with this longer set of Allens. I keep um, some eyelets and butt connectors just in case you have electrical mix-ups on the road. Doesn't really matter what tool bag style you have. You see on this bike, I got the front bag full of tools. I also have the coolest passenger seat in the world because this flips open, has extra tools in it. I absolutely love this. It's completely <laughs> hidden. And I don't really ride passengers, so that works out for me. That's my shovel FXR. On the Evo, I just have the bigger back set of tools. Plenty of space to carry everything. And then I also run saddlebags on these for the long trips, put extra oil in anything that I need. Well, and there you have it. Super simple. That's what I carry on my bikes whenever I'm riding. Um, keep in mind, this is just for regular riding, everyday type of stuff. If I'm going to go on a longer road trip, at least 500 miles plus, I'll always carry some extra tools, extra set of wrenches, an extra set of Allens, 
and obviously extra oil depending on what I'm riding. So thanks for watching. All right, leave a comment if you think that there's anything that I missed out. Um, that's kind of my basic set. So I ride an iron head and um, two FXRs. So this is basically all that I need. Um, everything pretty standard. Everything is really easy to get to on my bikes. I kind of made it as simple as possible. So leave a comment if you think I missed something. Thanks for watching.